What is going on YouTube family? I am uh, out here with the Jeep, the JL. We took it out to uh, Trey Mountain in Georgia for those that are local. Just wanted to see what we could do. Not the greatest day, not beautiful, but hopefully we can get up to the top and enjoy a couple rides. I'm here with the fam. They don't want to be on camera though, they're a little shy. They haven't showered today, so I keep them out of the, keep them out of the, I haven't showered today either if I'm, if I'm being honest. And uh, right now we just passed the Ranger. It was pretty funny when we first turned in into uh, Trey Mountain, what is this, uh, Trey Mountain Road. Pretty straightforward. Um, People just come flying. These Subaru guys, man, I'm telling you, I've owned Subarus and they drive wild. Look at this man back here. He wilding out there, driving like full speed down the mountain. Nice. Yeah, so anyways, we had a, another Subaru pull up to us, which is weird. You guys know I've owned a couple and I've posted them on the channel if you want to check out the videos. But we had a guy chase us as soon as we pulled up to Trey Mountain and just say we couldn't go up the road because it was closed and I'm just like, okay. So we just ignored it pretty much. He didn't have any uniform or anything. So I'm not sure, I mean, he might be a local. I know some of the local guys sometimes hate people coming up here because people do live off of this road and people are pretty disrespectful. You know, they, they come in loud vehicles and tear up the trails outside of the trail itself. And you know, we're gonna be really respectful and treat it just like if it was our own place. And hitting everything here so I'm taking it off the windshield because it is super bumpy as you guys can see this thing's just like turning back and forth but anyways we saw the Ranger Ranger gave us the thumbs up everything's good a couple other people talked to him so I think as long as we take it easy and don't do anything crazy uh, we should be able to enjoy it so anyways I put the camera back on the windshield and uh, keep recording some of this so that you guys can enjoy but this is our first time being up here and uh, hopefully the trail's in pretty good shape. I thought with all the rain we've had recently that it would be pretty bad, but it looks pretty clear. So anyway, that's it. drive up a little bit. I'm sure yeah. where it's close. He said it was at the very top. Might yeah. So we just had somebody come up and say that we couldn't go because it was closed. And I know they close it sometimes because when it's raining, right? It gets pretty bad and people do live up this road. So we'll at least check it out. Since we made the drive from like three hours away, at least we can come take a quick peek. Definitely not getting in the mud yet. 
that's the only mud we see them all. I just came from the top. Come on now. Well, Subaru still, drivers are crazy. Pulled up from behind us. And I love Subaru drivers. Don't get me wrong, I've owned a couple Subies myself. But... I do need to get an air compressor so I can air down the tires. It would ride a lot smoother on these, on these roads. I think it's when you get further up. So that's why you gotta be respectful of, you know, people live off of here, don't be too rowdy or destroy the road, stay on the trails as always. Yep. I'm recording the little trail, nothing, nothing too crazy yet. It's probably pretty bad up there because of the rain, the ruts and the mud get really bad. That rear tire makes more noise than I care for. Definitely need to get one of those, even though the Smitty built reinforcement tire carrier is there, I think it's too heavy. Yeah, the little waterfalls over here. Trees oh, let's go. Hopefully the footage is in, there is some stabilization I can use later. But. How is that Subaru dude not like flying off? Yeah, I, I mean, they're pretty good. They're all wheel drive, but the suspension's definitely gonna be your limitation there, right? And this is pretty mild. I mean, it's mostly rocky, but we're feeling it a lot just because of the, the tires. I'm aired up pretty high, because, you know, when I'm on the highway, I like to have them aired up pretty good. He didn't even like slow down. Like, no, yeah, he was flying he was down. Flying. So all you super guys, take it easy out here, man. I love you guys. Like I said, I've had a few myself, but man, these guys act like they've got a lifted, super fast Baja vehicle going down these hills. And sadly, it's not the first time. Again, I'm not, I'm not blanketing everybody out there. I know there's some, some uh, awesome guys that come out here and take care of this stuff, but today we've been chased by two Subarus. So I don't know what's going on today, but. Um, just be careful out there. You don't want to come down flying these flying down these roads because A, you can, as you can see right here, this is a blind turn. If somebody's coming even 20 miles per hour, you might hit somebody or send somebody flying off the road. So anyhow, we'll just keep enjoying the ride. It is a little bumpy. Yeah, you can ride to the top, which is pretty cool. My buddy Matt, as you guys know, He's, uh, he's brought his Jeep out here a couple of times and uh, one time it snowed on them when they were up here, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I can hear the fan and the JL. So for those wondering, I've got five people in the car. Can I count? Yeah, five, right? Yeah. 
with myself included so it's pretty loaded and uh going up this hill let me put the off-road pages on so we can see what kind of grade we've got going up so i'm loading the off-road pages here just i want to see what kind of incline we're going on it shouldn't be terribly bad but i can hear the the fan the temperature's still okay but the fan's definitely kicking up quite a bit and i think last time we were at that other mountain road we we heard the same thing it uh it went off pretty good so we are at a six six per six degree pitch uh zero roll right now but it's been between six and eight say six and eight man i can't even speak degree pitch as we've been going up so we'll see I'm gonna go slow and enjoy the ride there we got another vehicle up there so pretty busy today it's a sunday sunday afternoon it had been raining a lot so i wasn't sure what kind of shape the trail was going to be in but looks to be pretty decent shape nice little uh toyota land cruiser for those that don't know you see the little kid yeah the little yeah, kid, little kid was giving out. us the piece That's i know he'll grow up to be a jeep owner one day he's got the the jeep wave down and ready to go And we're following up this FJ. He's keeping up pretty good, pretty good pace. So this is exactly what I want to, I want to see in front of me. Let him go in front and let him find uh, find the the path before we get to it. I should probably throw the four wheel drive on. I was actually in the middle of doing that, and that's when the little Subaru guy rolled up on me. All right, so we are on high. We put it on four high for now get a little rut right here and I saw the let me see what the line is gonna be here maybe this one right here there we go boom make quick work of that no I don't want to imagine that at all <laughs> at all <laughs> my nephew just said imagine rolling down that oh, oh that's we picture, got a little, that's picture ball little anyway. waterfall yeah, I wonder yeah, if we, we should pull over we, to we the side Facts. We're gonna yeah. have to get a picture. Out we'll wait for the FJ. He's, uh, I think he's drinking the water, maybe, and that actually goes through the road. So that's pretty cool. That's fresh. Oh man, look, look at, that. at that! Hopefully, that I got a good. That is epic! Wow. wow. Oh, I thought it was going through the road. I didn't see the little. <laughs> the tree was kind of blocking my view. That's fine. Get a picture of that. Let me get out and get a picture of the tree. You want a picture? Yeah. All right, let me pull over somewhere where we're not yeah. in the middle of the of the waterfall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh. I'm gonna get too close to the edge there. I'm get close to the edge. All right, y'all go do it quickly because I don't want cars coming in now. Oh, no. be careful and see that's the part I don't like right there we just had a forerunner that just comes flying down the road right here and I'm just I'm just not a fan of that and, and because it's a slick road of course it's kind of hard to uh, you know to get a good stop but those are my nephews and my son my other son's here in the car and uh, they just went over to check out that little waterfall which is pretty cool but now I'm nervous because of the cars coming down flying at full speed so maybe we'll stay in the car we got a little little mud pie right here a little mud pie oh Jeez. is that a private road no, um, no sign here, can we walk up and look at it well let me see if i can go it's up there 4wd what is it? Four wheel drive <laughs> let's see it doesn't even show up on the map let me see if i can climb up there <laughs> Now that's a flex picture. I should get at the top. And... Yeah. Yeah, you want to yeah, go yeah, get yeah. uh. Go report.
these guys because they're like rich people. Wait, did you get out on video where you like walked up to him? Was, like, no. No. The camera thing is in that way. No, like the need sound. To. Get on this side before the forerunner comes flying at 83. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. steps. What is that? Like a trail? Wait a minute. Got a little trail or something, you know. A little trail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. We got nice little puddles right here. Those Jeep needs to put those. Uh, you ever seen those 18 wheeler seats that uh, bounce up and down like they have shocks on them? Bruh. We need that. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, we got a mud hole. We got a mud hole here, folks. Let's see what we got. That one looks kind of deep. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the trail is narrowing. Oh, there's a nice little, yeah, look at the creek down. on the left. It's really nice. Yeah, there's no way you get a, a Yeah, no, this would be really tight if another car comes up this way. Oh, uh, what do you think, shall we? I think we'll shall. be okay. All right. <laughs> I think we can, hopefully there's an exit on the other side. Probably. Right. We gotta put it in, uh, see that big rut I just didn't want to get. Right. We'll try our best here. Let's go. Go! Don't want a high side here. Work. It looks like we're in the jungle. <laughs> Anybody on my right? Clear. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Get to get out of four low. Four low makes it so easy. And this is not even a ruby. <laughs> but I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the old Sahara. And I think the same. Oh, it's the same yeah. setup for. Uh, same setup for the sport, if I remember correctly. This will help wash it off a little bit. <laughs> Is there another turn right here? It looks like a pull over. Yeah. There's like it's rocks, rocks in this yeah. one. I don't know how to dismantle the Jeep out here.
All right, fam, we made it up to the top. Well, not 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 all the way to the top. You can see we got a little, little mud over here. Nothing too crazy, but nobody can tell me I'm just doing uh, gravel roads anymore because uh, we did go in some pretty deep stuff. So we'll have to do a nice, nice job cleaning it up. But we came up uh, Trey Mountain Road, almost made it to the top, not all the way to the top. This is Corbin. Corbin Road over here and I think this is where it gets a little more sketch because as you can see they've got the gates up here nice little spot to turn around over here beautiful views pretty much 360 view here of the mountains hard to see with the trees of course but there's my nephews and my two sons up there but yeah so all this is uh, closed up but it, it wasn't as bad at all I mean I'm sure it gets worse that's why they've got the gates up here and with the rain and the snow recently, it's probably uh, the reason why they have it closed. But you can see, so we can't go any further from here. But that uh, was a lot of fun. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy watching. If you would, please like, subscribe, hit that bell so you can uh, get notified when the next video comes up. But once again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Hey, it's finally getting sunny. Yeah. This is real leaving. Woo. Yeah, I was hoping it get dark where we were at. pretty good and I'm sure you can hear the metal turtle slamming on everything but uh, yeah so uh, you know again it's a budget lift kit and for what it is I think it's pretty good obviously I'd love to have a Falcon uh, full upgrade and you know something really nice like that but you know for now for what we're doing just mild to intermediate stuff I think it's pretty good and again this is only a two and a half inch with the 35s got the trail grapplers on there they've been awesome i mean you know again this is the sahara so we don't have lockers 
we don't have the disconnecting uh, sway bar and uh, you know it's been pretty good this is a pretty deep rut here and again going through it with ease of course then in the video you see the Nissan Pathfinder all the way up here <laughs> I think they're selling real estate this must be like a realtor putting something up for sale Oh, there it is. Oh, she's a beaut, wow, Clark. She's a beaut. Go park real nice. 